speaker's decision must be collegiate and speak for parliament. The words of Kenneth Marende, indicative of a man not mellowing down from his stance, coming on the back of the Kenya Revenue Authority unequivocal directive that members of the August House have to pay taxes on their allowances, a taxation row that has now driven a wedge between members of parliament and the executive. We must have leadership that has the moral character and courage to honor its word. Miranda maintained that members of parliament were not opposed to paying, contrary to what the public has been made to believe, but insisted that due process must be followed. Necessary bills ought to be enacted to operationalize taxation measures. The speaker argues that provisions of the Income Tax Act, the National Assembly Numeration Act, and any other law need to be amended before the members of parliament can pay tax. The Salaries and Remuneration Bill, which is yet to be signed into law, seeks to set a commission that will review and set the incomes of all state officers, including members of parliament. It was supposed to be assented by the president, but Kibaki made amendments that he wanted to ratify first. However, even with this in place, parliamentarians will still find themselves in a predicament, since all these will be acts of parliament which are subordinate to the constitution, which states in Article 210, that no law shall exempt anybody from paying tax. It is also emerging that parliamentarians are now exploring the option of censuring Prime Minister Raila Odinga when Parliament resumes in two weeks' time. The Speaker said there was some kind of understanding uh, which now somebody has broken. Uh, I'm, I'm not aware. They claim that by publicly declaring that any letter to the Speaker was just a gentleman's agreement that was not binding amounted to inciting the public against the legislators. Willis Raburu, Citizen Live at 9.